Hello friends, welcome to yet another video. In this video, we'll learn how to integrate a chart into a WordPress blog post or page. And for this purpose, we are going to use a chart builder plugin. So I put the link in the description. You can download it from there. Okay. And uh, okay, so the first thing you will require to install the plugin. Once you install the plugin, you can see this icon on the left hand side chart builder where you can click on all charts and you will get all the charts uh, uh, listed there. So by default, you've got one chart which is there when uh, it has got a short code also. So I'll just copy paste uh, this short code and just show you a preview of how exactly it will look. Okay. And uh, this is uh, loading. Yeah, this is the default chart which is being displayed here. So now there are many other options which are available. This is a pie chart but you can uh, do as many charts as you want. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and start with the video. So first of all, you're required to click on add new and here you'll get the options. Now here you've got all the options uh, and you've got a wide variety of options. I really love this plugin for it. It has got line chart, bar chart, pie chart, column chart, donut chart, histogram you know you name it geo chart is there org chart can be developed from this and uh, you know it has got area chart you've got gauge chart combo chart okay and a number of charts timeline charts is there and uh, 3d pie chart and a number of things are here so you can select you've got word tree gang chart is also there so you can select any of the charts uh, that you want to work around with. Uh, let's say if you want to work with a column chart, so you can just select the column chart and then we can hit the next button. And uh, here we can give the title and there are a number of ways you can put the data into it. So one way is I'll just uh, rename it as testing chart. One way is you can import a data file from, so you can import a CSV file and uh, you can uh, you know save the data here show on chart show the results etc so one way is you can import a csv file they've got no excel options so you'll have to first put your file in a csv format and then you can do that next is uh, connect uh, uh, your google sheet so uh, here you can uh, you know connect it uh, to your google sheet where it will directly pull out the data from your google sheets uh, account and here they've got a beautiful page where, uh, you know, all the instructions about uh, the integration are there. So you just have to add the client ID and the client secret and it will get integrated and the data will directly be pulled out from your Google Sheets. Connect to a database. I would not recommend this <coughs> for non-coders. If, if you have a good coding background, if you know how to use MySQL, then this is for you. Otherwise, you should avoid, uh, you know, connecting it to the DB because there can be a lot of complications that you can face while doing so. The last is manual data. This is the simplest one. You can add whatever columns you want and you can, you know, put in that. Let's say along with the population, you want to say, you know, the male population also. So here you can maybe, you know, mention that. Let's say, and uh, let me just give a small uh, numbers here 223 or we can just change this to working population okay working population and uh, we can 56 and you can just click on shown chart so you can see as soon as i've done that We've got automatically this has come out here. We have got the total population and the working population is coming out here. Again, we have the setting tab here. So the setting tab can help you on the status, uh, chart status. Okay, it's active only. So you can give chart description. You can select the author. Okay, you can show the title if you want to enable interactivity or what is the style that you want, the color fonts, etc. You can check the tooltip colors, the ledger uh, color, you know, the excess colors that you want, vertical excess colors, etc. Chart animation. If you want to have some chart animations, you can have those. 
added as well there will be some delay and uh, your your animation will appear here then you've got a column setting as well you know is it staked okay so do you want it oh, oh, one above the other you know or you just want it to be besides each other so uh, that is also if you want you want to group the data you can group the data as well and uh, you can select the opac opacity of your this thing you can select how wide you want the charts to be okay so you just uh, select 30 they'll be less wider so you can see now depending on what type of data or information do you want you can add that what color do you want if you don't like the blue color you can change it to some other color also to match your website font uh, you know so so we can keep it blue only i think blue was looking good and uh, you know so this is how you can do it now we can simply close this close and save this okay as soon as we've saved it we can just copy paste this here in the new post again and uh, i'll just uh, preview it back and uh, and uh, i'll just click on preview and here we've got our chart back and you can see it looks really nice now this uh, thing is getting cut here so but when you hover it it shows uh, the exact uh, details about uh, what you know whether it's a working population or it's a normal population okay so uh, this is quite uh, self-explanatory i mean it's quite good okay let's try one more type of chart and then we will uh, you know move ahead uh, with more details okay so let's uh, give uh, a word tree chart okay we can we can just work on the word tree and here we can see we can import the data or uh, connect to the database okay connect to google sheet also and we can have this thing also okay so we have got the example csv i'll just download that okay We will just import this so here uh, we have got all the details child label child id one two three four five six seven eight parent uh, is uh, so this is the master parent so it's going to be minus one otherwise this will be zero one two three the further we go the uh, you know lesser uh, the more details it will have so what i'll do is i'll just keep this short okay i'll just keep this short and uh, okay this is five 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 okay this is the size which is given this is the weight which is given okay i think uh, we can we can move ahead and proceed i'll just import this back so just go to download and import this show on chart so here we go save data show results so this is how it's going to be there and we can just save and close this i don't want to make any changes in the color and i can just copy this thing here and we can put it back here so here we go this is what we have and when we click on it okay this is really awesome when you click on it it expands that specific section so so life is uh, the the base one okay then we have got bacteria if you just click on it you don't have anything there so we just go back here here if you click we have got the live of uh, this thing arch area okay and then if you just click we don't have anything else there okay similarly if i just click here you know i've got this and i i can see the history also so uh, this is really amazing in, in fact uh, uh, you know i it can be used for uh, various educational purposes also okay great so um let's just go back and there are some general settings which are available how to use you can go through how to use and you can see the other products also for this plugin so just uh, click on general settings and here they like permission who will have the permission to the chart builder 
you can set that up and you can also integrate it with google from here itself uh, so that will be a one-time integration so the data can be pulled out from the google drive itself okay great i hope you learned uh, something new in this video do hit the like and the subscribe button if you like the content and we will come up with more such videos for you thanks thanks for your time guys